This is a video about the experience of seeing the Great American Solar Eclipse on 21 August 2017 in Dillard, Georgia. This was the first total solar eclipse with a coast-to-coast -coast path across the United States since 1918, and it cast a shadow 105 kilometers wide on its way across 14 states. I arrived in the parking field for the solar eclipse beside the Dillard City Hall at 10.30 in the evening. Needless to say, I was the only car there at that hour. Dillard, Georgia is about 185 kilometers northeast of Atlanta at the debut of the Great Smoky Mountains. Dillard was located in the center line of the Path of Totality and the Totality started at 2.35 p.m. and lasted for 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Most Eclipse viewers arrived by car, but some VIPs arrived by helicopter. I set up my camera gear at the Dillard House Inn, which is a luxurious resort with a wonderful scenic view towards a historic Rabin Gap Nakuchi School. The steady stream of cars into Dillard in the morning made me thankful that I had arrived the night before when there was no traffic. The beautiful Rabin Gap Nakuchi School, founded in 1903, is a private preparatory school. The partial eclipse started at the gentlemanly hour of 1.07 p.m. with totality starting about an hour and a half later at 2.35 p.m. and lasting for 2 minutes and 34 seconds. After totality, the partial eclipse wound up an hour and a half later at 4.01 p.m. The CBS TV affiliate in Atlanta was on site to cover the eclipse. During the partial eclipse right up to totality, there was lots of light. Unfortunately, the clouds rolled in just 15 minutes before totality and the crowd was miffed. However, the crowd started cheering for the sun to come out and lo and behold, it did just that right before totality. At totality, the moon exactly covered the sun's surface, revealing the dazzling corona. During the 2 minutes and 34 seconds of totality, the sun looked like a jewel in the sky, given its dazzling corona, and the countryside darkened in a magical way. At totality, apart from the dazzling solar corona, there were stars and planets visible in the sky. Throughout totality, the viewers were excitedly cheering the event, which made for a wonderful, surrealistic experience. As the diamond ring grew in size, solar flares became visible on the sun's limb. The only downside of the eclipse was that my coke exploded in the trunk of my rental car due to the extreme heat of 97 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Despite waiting until 7 p.m., it was bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for the 185km drive back to Atlanta. I can hardly wait until the next nearby total solar eclipse in 2024. Take me somewhere nice To some tired island in your heart called paradise